Welcome back to the Pilot Aware YouTube channel and the introduction to the latest software release, which includes the latest innovation we call iGrid. With this latest release, you will receive greater volumes of traffic that can be displayed on your Pilot Aware radar screen. You will also be able to select greater data on individual aircraft. With this release, we are also able to introduce information services in flight. The first of these is an in-flight weather service in the form of a rain volume overlay on the radar screen. In addition, we've added points of local interest, local airfield and enhanced METARs, all of which are individually selectable. Of course, if you want to display the amazing amount of aircraft on your electronic flight bag or glass cockpit, this is also possible. Before we continue with the new features and how to download them, here is a quick reminder of how the PilotAware infrastructure works. Firstly, PilotAware devices directly detect aircraft transmitting PilotAware signals, ADSB from transponders, and low-powered ADSB from CAP1391 devices. In addition, they will also pick up Mode C and Mode S aircraft, but at this stage, these are only detected as a bearingless target. Secondly, all PilotAware devices interact with the network of PilotAware Atom Stations. This ground network detects all aircraft equipped with FLAM and MODES devices and rebroadcasts their positions to the airborne PilotAware devices. At the same time, all information collected by the Atom Grid network is passed to the PilotAware servers. In January 2022, we introduced PilotAware SkyGrid. This innovative mesh network provides ground station-like functionality to all PilotAware aircraft flying. This significantly increases the amount of network nodes available at any one time, which in itself increases the range of the Atom Grid by relaying information to low-flying or distant aircraft that are out of direct range of a ground-based Atom station. SkyGrid has significantly increased the performance of the PilotAware infrastructure and further reduces the obscuration inherent in poorly sighted carry-on devices. The latest software release introduces PilotAware iGrid, which provides dual-link technology to significantly increase the bandwidth available for data transfer. This allows PilotAware to increase the amount of detected aircraft available for presentation on a screen and also introduce information services to pilots in flight. But how is it that Pilot Aware can be so innovative when other solutions seem to be constrained? Well, Pilot Aware devices are not just point to point electronic conspicuity devices like other systems. Firstly, they all contain a powerful computer. This is then coupled to an aviation frequency receiver that detects all transmissions on 1090 megahertz. These are ADS-B, CAP1391 and MODES technologies. Additionally, an ISM band transmitter and receiver is integrated in to receive PilotAware transmissions and also to communicate with the 250 PilotAware Atom Grid ground stations in the UK. In addition, 60 sites have been installed in mainland Europe, with all data collected being transferred to the PilotAware servers. As well as the Atom Grid network, MODES data is also collected through over 1,300 sites in the UK provided by 360 Radar Limited. Naturally, all PilotAware Atom stations also contribute to providing data for multilateration. And now we introduce the combined strength of the Atom Grid, Sky Grid, and iGrid working together. iGrid combines the low latency inherent in direct detection, Atom Grid broadcast and SkyGrid Relay with the increased bandwidth and range available when using a mobile network. To use iGrid, a mobile network connection is made to an existing PilotAware device using the hotspot facility built into all smartphones. This gives a second link access to the PilotAware servers using the mobile network. Information on all local aircraft can then be transferred to individual aircraft as required. All data is time-stamped with only the latest data being used. In addition, advanced low data rate services available at the servers can be uplinked into the cockpit. An example of this is the rain weather data now provided by the latest software release. 
Making the connection from Pilot to Wear to iGrid is simple. A Wi-Fi connection is made to your smartphone hotspot and this then connects to the internet via the mobile phone network and hence to the Pilot Aware servers. Data is then passed to the electronic flight bag, smart tablet or glass cockpit by the Pilot Aware device. As you may have guessed, this is a very powerful link with immense opportunities for Pilot Aware users and interoperable electronic conspicuity. To gain access to iGrid, the latest software needs to be downloaded. This is most easily done using the Pilot Aware firmware updater, available for Apple and Android devices. This is very easy to do, and full instructions are available in the app or on the Pilot Aware website. You will need to add a second Wi Fi dongle to your Pilot Aware device. It's very important that this Wi Fi device contains an RA Link 5370 chip. This is required for the connection to work properly. Correct Wi Fi dongles are available on the Pilot Aware website store. Also in the screenshot, the second Wi Fi dongle is inserted in the bottom left SMA socket. Any socket will do, but it must be configured to auto. And that's the hardware update done. Very simple. Next, you need to configure your mobile phone. Go to the settings page. Turn mobile data on. Turn aeroplane mode off. Turn the personal hotspot on. You'll need to make a note of your smartphone name and the hotspot password. You will of course need to have your mobile data turned on and a mobile data package with your service provider. Beware data roaming. Next you need to pair your Pilot Aware and mobile hotspot together. Navigate to the network setting page on your Pilot Aware. Looking at the bottom half of the network page, highlighted in red, select your hotspot name from the drop down list then insert your hotspot password and press save. Two buttons are included to refresh the available hotspots and to clear the cache if these actions are required. A connection to the Pilot Aware servers will have been made when the hotspot chosen is highlighted in green. Also, four greens appear on the radar screen. If no box is highlighted, then no dongle has been connected or a connected dongle is the wrong type or not working. If a red box is seen, this shows that a Wi-Fi dongle has been detected. An orange box indicates that a Wi-Fi connection has been established with the smartphone hotspot. And a green box indicates a connection with the iGrid servers. The other boxes, that is GPS, TXP and PAW, indicate the availability of the GPS signal, 1090 packets received and the fidelity of the pilot aware transmitters respectively. The number of atom stations connected is shown in the yellow box on the top right of the radar screen. This rotates with the local QNH and the nearest METAR station from which it is derived. After a short connection time, the traffic radar screen will blossom with a large amount of traffic. The closest traffic will be very low latency as it is derived directly or via the Atom grid. All data is time stamped with the latest data being used at all times. If an individual aircraft is selected from the radar screen, then additional aircraft details will be shown if required. The first available in-flight information service is the new RAIN virtual radar overlay. This shows a view of RAIN in the area of the radar screen. This is periodically updated but is not in real time. Selecting individual METAR sites will open a window providing greater METAR detail. This slide shot uses a smart tablet in split screen mode showing the amount of traffic to be seen on each type of app. The screens can be zoomed in or out as individually required. When combining the data collected directly by the Atom Grid, by SkyGrid and by iGrid, the Pilot Aware network 
and servers collect an amazing amount of data on low-flying aircraft. This screenshot shows an instantaneous snapshot taken on a typical day in June 2022. All aircraft shown are below 8,000 feet and therefore are of interest to general aviation airspace. All this data is available for you for tactical and strategic situation awareness via Pilot Aware. The progress made by Pilot Aware is amazing and we're working on the next innovation, so watch this space. If you need to know more, visit the Pilot Aware website at pilotaware.com. If you're not yet a Pilot Aware user, there is still time to join. The DFT CAA grant is still available, providing up to £250 discount on Pilot Aware purchases. Thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you again.